Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So let's talk about masks. So it is currently May the 12th. I had to double check the date because it's so easy now to forget the date. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one who does that, but hopefully not. Um, we will be talking about masks. And even by the time you watch this video, things might have changed. So take this video with a grain of salt. This is just currently what's happening today. Everybody's asking about masks and what masks are acceptable. We can still not go back to work here where I am. Um, they're open for emergency dental care only, but even where I am, um, not all dentists are doing emergency care. So there's actually a list of dentists that are, and then patients are to call them and go from there. But you might be wondering, well, you've heard so much about masks. Well, what if you can't find those N95 masks? What if you can't find those level three masks because they are being sold out everywhere? So I'm just gonna do a brief video to talk about the different types. First off, this is obviously a reusable mask that I had purchased here um, from a local shop here in St. Thomas. Very nice, right? Um, and there's actually room for a filter apparently as well. Hand wash only, but they are reusable. Do not heat up your reusable masks or any masks in the microwave. That just will not do. So do not do that. It can actually hurt the mask. And I mean, who would think about doing that anyway? But apparently there's something going around Facebook saying it's recommended to heat up the masks in the microwave to keep them sterile. Don't do that. So what they're currently saying, and I'm prepared for when I can open up. So that's why I did buy some reusable masks. What they're saying right now, at least where I am, um, here in Canada is they want you to wear an N95 mask that has been properly fitted. I don't have one to show you because I have not been able to get my hands on any of them. They're either sold out or I'm worried to just kind of purchase one off of Amazon if it's not a proper N95 mask. Plus, I've heard they're extremely uncomfortable and hard to breathe. Not saying that that does make a difference. If we're supposed to wear them, we're supposed to wear them, but if we can't find them, we can't find them. So what they're also saying is there's another mask out there, and I meant to check the name before I did the video. I believe it's K95, K94, something like that, okay? So I'll probably look up the correct name and then um, let you guys know in the comments below. But apparently that is sourced out in China. It's not FDA approved here, but they have now approved it for use for emergency situations only and in extreme circumstances. And that would be if you can't find an N95 mask or a level three mask or something, you can wear those because they are a lot easier to purchase and a lot easier to find. Of course, that's probably not going to last because once people hear that they can purchase that and use them and they're a lot more comfortable than the N95 masks, that's probably going to be now hard to find as well. But going back to the N95 masks, they have to be, as I said, properly fitted, meaning you have to find somebody or a company that comes to properly fit those masks for you. I saw a little flyer somewhere saying that they charge like $200 or something to properly fit um, the mask, but I don't know if that's correct. I just sort of saw the flyer and then when I went to go find it again online, I couldn't find it. Um, but again, if you don't have the N95 mask, there's no sense booking an appointment to be fitted if you don't have the mask. So they're also saying what they want you to do so that you can wear the N95 mask all day long because it's supposed to be, of course, not meant to wear all day every day, but that's what we're doing now. They say that you can actually wear the N95 mask and then put over top like a level two or a level three mask to protect the filter of the N95 mask, but also wear a face shield. So I do actually have one of, the, actually I have a couple of those as well. 
um, cause that's again, better than nothing you guys. But they're also saying if you cannot get your hands on those N95 masks, even the K95, if I'm saying that number correctly, I still have to look that up, K95, um, you can wear a level two or a level three mask with a face shield. So obviously these reusable masks, I we don't know what level they are, but you guys, it's better than nothing. Am I right? It's better than nothing. So if I can't find enough level three masks or, or level two masks, the N95, the K95, then I am, I am going to wear these reusable masks, one per patient, because obviously they're a lot easier to purchase, and a face shield over top of that. Do I feel comfortable doing that? Absolutely. But that's just me. That's just my personal opinion on that because I'm protected. Um, I would not be seeing a patient who had active sick symptoms, but as we know, somebody could still carry the virus and not know it. But I would be wearing this literally the entire time I'm seeing the patient. Before I walk into the room, I will have this on with a shield. I will not be doing anything to create unnecessary um, um, aerosols, they will be wearing a pre-procedural uh, pre rinse. So you guys, that's what I am doing. So a little help with the masks. I do hope that helps. Um, again, even by the time you're watching the video, things might have changed, but that's just kind of putting all of the masks um, confusion to make it a little bit easier for you guys, because there's so much out there. I still see so many questions about what mask are we supposed to wear? What do we do if we can't find an N95 mask? As a side note, you guys, there's a lot of offices that have opened in the States. Um, I do know a few dental assistants and dental hygienists that I talk to on a regular basis who do work in those offices, and they have said that those N95 masks are so up so uncomfortable. It's hard for them to actually um, breathe properly in them. There's like a, like this, this mark around that will go away, I'm sure, but it seems to be permanent there right now because they are literally wearing it all day long. They're not taking it off, which is probably for the best, um, but they're extremely uncomfortable and hard to breathe in them. So something to keep in mind. If you're thinking or are able to return back to work, if you have difficulties breathing as it is, let's say you're pregnant, let's say you have a condition that just sort of makes it harder for you to breathe, such as asthma, you probably don't want to be returning back to work. Just a little side note, and that's my opinion. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the masks, and I will see you guys in the next video.